I'm still waiting for Whiskey to release a video that will beat that back Roma video because to me, that's one of the best videos I've ever watched. Best Nigerian video I've ever watched till this day. Anyways, moving on. Whiskey released a video titled Oju Elegba. <laughs> It's legendary beats. Okay, the song is on point, no doubt, but I don't think I can say the same for the video. Not that the video is that bad, but there are just a few things that we're missing. The quality of the video, 100%, I give 100%, but the concept of the video, I was kind of lost. What I got from the video is that Whiskey is trying to sell us his grass to grey story, you get. Okay. From the beginning of the video to the end of the video, I didn't get any grass part. All, all I was really seeing was the grass part. The part where he entered the, the downfall boss, it was just as if maybe they seized this IX35 Jeep or something and told him, yeah, enter, the, enter that boss and go somewhere you get. You're trying to show us that you were poor, you were hustling that time, you were wearing fly cap, your t-shirt is on point, the jeans and the shoes you get. So I just didn't think that one was... I thought that one was out of order if, if I'm making any sense. Then the Booker scene. I don't get why they couldn't just use a real Booker. You understand? I use real hungry guys. Those guys were looking too to show my liking. They look like people that should be eating french fries. They're not even there. And just see they're eating there. That one was pinching, pinching there. But like this is all you to use your hand, grab the tart chunk or something. Then whisk it. Where we see those eating the meat, you know that like, this guy is not hungry. Yeah, you're eating the meat, you're eating two fingers. So we to grab the whole thing, you understand? All this is just for the sake of the video. You get to give the video texture, you know, give us something to talk about, something to look about in the video. I just felt it was lacking there. Then I think Clarence Peter's side should have made it a close-up shot. The part where he was eating that I meal. Let's see their faces, let's see the hunger in their faces as they're eating. I think that's that part is supposed to show. His grass part, you know, where he was still hustling with boys, you know, eating in the book and all that. So that one was a big problem for me. I don't, I didn't get that part. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if Whiskey was a pianist, a hustling pianist back then. I don't know, but I didn't get the point of that piano section. You know, understand? I don't understand. Was he doing beats by himself when he couldn't afford people that would make beats for him? I don't know. So I just didn't get the point of that aspect. Then the studio scene, it might be when he made it, I'm not sure, but the idea I got from that was maybe when he was still trying to make beats, you know, hustling. I didn't see any reason why he could not use all those 1K, 1K per hour studios and all those studio and other places, all those cheap cardboard studios you get. To make the video more interesting, you understand? What I got from the video, I just copy, cutting and pasting, putting different places, should have given the video more depth, you get. You see Whiskey lying down on the couch, what was that supposed to show? Whether he was lonely or now that he has made money, nobody's with him. I don't just understand. I didn't get the idea of the... I just didn't get the idea of the video, you understand? And the song is telling a story. So I just felt that because of this song, you understand? Since the song is a storytelling song, how your story from grass to grace, I felt it should have shown us, you understand, that graduation from when you were still hustling to how you are now. Then the last thing with the watermelon. How far now? I didn't get the idea. Where were the peaches, you know, the berries, you know, where are the passion fruits, where are the plums, you know, all those shit like that I get. Or if you can't do all those, you should have better fried rice, or wishy wishy, and all those kind of things. Let's know you've hammered, man. Do better food, you understand what I'm saying? I don't know, Sha. The song was just too good. I just don't, I don't know, I didn't feel the video, and I'm feeling like. I can't say anything good about all these music videos, but nowadays some of the music videos that they are bringing out now, quality is always 100%. I think we've reached that stage in Nigeria where we don't need to worry about quality, but concepts, you get, there are some videos I can just do for the sake of doing videos, enjoyment, fun, like that story for the gods, good. But when it comes to songs like this, that is trying to tell a story, you're telling a story how you were suffering, how you were entering down for boss, how you were looking for studio time, how you were playing piano, all that, a good storyline, you understand, should be part of the video, in good concept you get. But it seems like I'm like the only one feeling like this way about the video because if you go to the video on YouTube on this comment section, you see a lot of people saying the video is classic, one of the best videos in time. So maybe I might be wrong, but everybody, to everybody's their opinion, this is just my opinion, I'm still, I didn't say you should follow it you get. So that's just the point I'm making. I'm still a big fan of Whiskey though, please though. I'm one, number one, Whiskey is number one fan, so this is not hate, this is just giving my opinion on what I feel about his video and I know he can do better get money no be problem just if i employ myself to give you concept if you're watching this in whiskey just try me once once if you don't like it then just explore me but in all in all i believe whiskey is talented and i know it's going higher than where he is now 
I know it's going to make better videos than this. I think this one was just a snippet to the real video. This is the full snippet of a full video, you know. The real video is still coming, so I'll be looking out for that one. So this is my first review for 2015. And I'll give the video maybe 6 over 10. And that's 6 over 10 just because of concepts. Everything about the video was on point. Quality-wise, cinematography, everything was on point. Apart from the parts where I wanted that um, close-up scene where it was hitting. Apart from that, everything on this video was quite good quite okay so big up to Clarice Peter Clarice Peter cannot do any wrong in my eye I don't know why get that's all I have to say hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel see I'm trying to be giving you videos 247 you know trying to keep up with the pace Njideka is not around now she'll be back in a few months time I don't know maybe earlier than that she's doing she's traveling around the world to get I'm sure she'll bring you videos about that if not then I don't know what to say all right you guys Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Subscribe. I always check you guys watching. I don't know if we're quarreling. Share this video. Thank you very much for watching. And leave your comment. Let me know what you think about this video, please. Eh? It lets me know what to do to improve and what to do to make this video better. Thank you very much for watching. Well, let's the like button.